In today's video, we'll go through the top six vitamin and minerals needed for your low thyroid. Let's get into it. Hypothyroidism is when your thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormones. This then slows down your metabolism and slows down almost all of our other organs. The most common causes of hypothyroidism includes iodine deficiency and Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disorder where your immune system attacks your thyroid. Hypothyroidism is usually easily managed by taking medications, but today we're going to talk about the important vitamins and minerals needed to help optimize your thyroid. Keep in mind these aren't replacements for your medications and you should never stop taking your medication without speaking to your doctor first. Iodine is an element present in some foods and is used by the body to produce thyroid hormones in the thyroid gland. Iodine deficiency is one of the most common deficiencies in the world and is common in areas such as most of Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia and New Zealand where the soils lack iodine, which then means the foods grown in these soils will also lack iodine. Other areas such as the USA have soils rich in iodine and iodized salt, so iodine deficiency in these areas is rare. A severe iodine deficiency causes the body to to be unable to produce thyroid hormones, which leads to hypothyroidism. Over time, if there isn't enough iodine, the thyroid gland gets larger to compensate and becomes a goiter. The RDA of iodine for adults is 150 microgram per day. The best sources of iodine include seaweed, seafood, breads made with iodized salt, dairy, and eggs. In general, you don't need to worry about your iodine intake too much if you used iodized salt in your day-to-day -day cooking. Now we discussed iodine as being important to prevent hypothyroidism, but this is only the case when the cause of hypothyroidism is from iodine deficiency. If you have Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes hypothyroidism, then you need to be careful about your iodine intake. There is a bit of controversy in this area as high doses of iodine may worsen the condition, particularly if you don't have enough selenium. Selenium is an essential mineral that is only needed in very small amounts, but can only be obtained through the diet. In the adult body, the organ with the highest amount of selenium per gram of tissue is the thyroid. Selenium is important as an antioxidant to protect the thyroid gland against oxidative stress, and it is also needed for thyroid metabolism. Studies show a correlation between low selenium levels and thyroid problems such as hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's disease, Graves' disease, enlarged thyroid glands, and thyroid cancer. It's important important to note that selenium has a u-shaped relationship with regards to its health benefits too much but also too little selenium leads to negative health effects on the body a recent meta-analysis of seven controlled trials found after six months of treatment with selenium there was a significant decrease in thyroid antibodies in those with Hashimoto's disease it needed to be taken for at least six months to see effects the RDA for selenium is 55 microgram a day and no more than 400 microgram a day otherwise you may experience toxicity. You can find selenium in foods such as Brazil nuts, sunflower seeds, fish and eggs. Just one or two Brazil nuts per day can provide you with your daily selenium requirements. Zinc is a mineral needed for the production and regulation of the thyroid hormones, as zinc deficiency can result in low thyroid levels. On the flip side, low thyroid levels can affect the absorption of zinc and lead to a zinc deficiency. Good sources of zinc in your diet include oysters, pumpkin seeds, and chickpeas. The RDA for adult males is 11 mg a day and 8 mg a day for adult females. It's important not to take more than the upper limit of 40 mg a day, otherwise it can lead to toxicity. There is a link between low vitamin D levels and low thyroid levels. Vitamin D plays an important role in the immune system as the vitamin D receptor is expressed in almost all immune cells. Low vitamin D levels is implicated in many autoimmune diseases, including Hashimoto's disease. But there isn't conclusive evidence. In any case, it's important to maintain healthy vitamin D levels. The RDA for vitamin D is 600 IU per day for adults up to the age of 70 and 800 IU per day for adults over the age of 70. The best sources of vitamin D are from the sun and in supplement form. Vitamin A is needed for iodine uptake, helps to regulate the production of thyroid stimulating hormone and is needed for thyroid hormone metabolism. Vitamin A deficiency is closely associated with iodine deficiency, so it's important to have enough so you don't suffer from hypothyroidism caused by iodine deficiency. The RDA for vitamin A is 900 microgram of retinol activity equivalents for adult females and 700 microgram RAE for adult males. Good sources of vitamin A include carrots, sweet potatoes, spinach and liver. 
Often those with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease also have an iron deficiency. Iron is essential for thyroid metabolism and an iron deficiency often leads to hypothyroidism. Conversely, hypothyroidism can reduce the levels of acid in the stomach and affect hepcidin levels in our body. Hepcidin is the protein that regulates iron, leading to reduced iron absorption and hence iron deficiency. Both iron deficiency and hypothyroidism have similar symptoms such as hair loss, fatigue and dry skin. There have been some cases where all that was needed to treat the patient's hypothyroidism was to correct the underlying iron deficiency. The RDA for adult males and postmenopausal women is 8 mg per day and 18 mg per day for premenopausal women. The best sources of iron are from animal sources such as red meat. However, you can get it from plant sources such as lentils and spinach. So that comes to the end of the video. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.